I got 14 times. That's the farthest I've ever gotten, guys. I should play more cell phone games while I'm at So Discussion. I do really well. Jimmy's like, that's not going to see algorithm. <laughs> I hope this one gets a million views. For some reason, only if there's one person in the thumbnail, it does way better. That's what I'm saying. Well, what about the the Baja Blast one? There was nobody in that, and it did great. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> he comes off as an expert, and then he gives up. <laughs> So Discussions is what you're watching right now. I'm Jeff. I'm Dan. And we're the hosts of So Discussions. Yeah. Which you're watching right now. Yeah. We host this show yeah. that you're watching right now. Yeah. Dan, what are what is this shit? What are we drinking today? So Jeff, a long many time ago, mm -hmm. I purchased a four pack of Fentiman's Curiosity Cola. Ooh, I'm very curious. This is Let's a traditional curiosity together. Traditional botanical cola beverage with herbal extract. Do you know how I know you purchased it a long time ago? Because the expiration date is August 28th, 2022. It is. <laughs> Excuse me. It is now November 14th, 2022, or 13th, who knows. Um, so yeah, this expired already. It'll be fine, mm -hmm. but you know, sodas have a long expiration date. So you purchased this quite a while ago. Yeah, this is one of the first batch of uh, sodas I bought. This is <clears throat> this is from Wilmington, Newcastle, Delaware. How much mold is it? However, it's a product of the UK. Oh, I think traditionally like these Fentimans are supposed to be like a British brand. Is that accurate? Yes, that is accurate. We've We've drunken have drunk, drank in our flower episode, right? We did, yeah. There was a rose one, which I think I still have at my house. So anyways, I purchased this. I was looking for an episode to put it in. I didn't want to put it by itself. I was thinking maybe we do like a cola episode or something. Right. Then when I was in California, um, I went to a soda shop and they had the cherry cola, which I had never seen before. Right. So I figured... <laughs> My mine is freaking well. Let's live life. Let's live life dangerously. So this says brewed <laughs> botanically <laughs> on the glass mm -hmm. uh, and botanically brewed on the label, um, and also the ingredients: carbonated water, fermented ginger root extract, um, water, glucose syrup, ginger root, pear juice concentrate, yeast, beet sugar. This is a second. Same. We just did an episode recently. Keep going. I want to see what the difference sugar. are. Um, caramel color, Same. natural flavor. Yep. Phosphoric acid and caffeine. The only difference, cherry juice concentrate. So it is literally Instead that juice? plus cherry juice. No, it has the pear oh. juice as well. Oh, this is literally the same soda with cherry juice. Let's try it. I'm I'm interested to see. I think we got to start with the. Are you with snotty? The basic, right? That's a, snot a little snot. snotty. It's pretty gross. I, I you keep sniffling on the. Uh, yeah, it's very <laughs> disgusting. It makes me want to drink. You just swallowed. I'll give that a five on the Mountain Ooh. Dew scale. <laughs> Bugger. Ooh, that smells. Very botanically brewed. Um, not much. Uh, it looks like a cola. Oh, it looks oh, carbonated. Yeah. I mean, can I have some? Yeah. You think? Ooh, it smells, smells like a good floral. cola. Yeah. I'm excited for this, Jeff. Me too, Dan. I hope it's good. I hope it's not bad. Cheers, fuckers. Oh, I like that. It's strange. It is strange. It's It tastes like sticks. Yeah. It's yeah. a little rooty. It does taste like sticks. There's almost like a birch beer essence to it. Very clovey? Mo yeah, clove forward. Yeah. I wouldn't say anise or licorice, but it's very earthy. Mm -hmm. um, it's not bad, but I don't think that I would want to drink a whole bottle of this. This definitely seems like something you'd want to mix like grenadine in. I like this. I mean, it's definitely like a... It's not bad at it's, all. This is hipster cola, Jeff. That's what I want to call this. This is like cola for people this with an educated every palate. single target I've ever been in. Yeah, but I'm just talking about the flavor combination. Yeah, I mean, it's you're not wrong. If you went to a fancy bar and they didn't call it this, if they called it like... Um, what would they call this? What's like a hipster? Artisanal, locally sourced... Wood cola. <laughs> it does, taste and they serve woody. it to you with like a stick in it. You'd be like, "This is fucking great." It does. It, it, it's like, hard to put this your is finger worth on the, the, the uh, nine fifty that I spent for this glass. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's it's good. It's definitely a sipper. It's not a chugger. Yeah, yeah. You know what would not be good? Making a soda float out of that. No, I don't think that would pair with vanilla very well. No, no. I gotta finish this now. So like we said, this is basically the same thing. We're botanically brewed. Traditional botanical cherry flavor beverage. 
I'm excited for this one because I think a little hit of like extra cherry sweetness could like clean up some of the weirdness. I mean, in no way is this healthy. 21 total sugars. No, it's not. But healthy. it feels it feels herbal. It feels more natural. Yeah. You're like, oh wow, this is this is good. Nice I carbonation. Like okay. Oh, this smells like real cherries, like a nice maraschino. Okay, now you're speaking my language, which is English. <laughs> Do you speak any other languages, Jeff? Uh, Igpe Atenle. Ime Ute. <laughs> he said me too for everybody who doesn't know what that is. Ears chase, ucker face. <laughs> I ate mm. Onte Ikele at bay. I can't decide if I like it or not. It it's like this, but less less of like the natural fullness and the cherry kind of tastes fake. There's so much going on in it. It's a, there's it's like a lot too happening. Much. There's a lot happening right there. I don't know what's happening. This is like a kitchen sink flavor. I would surprisingly pick this over the cherry. I think I would too. Yeah. That's a shame. Yeah, I'm disappointed in that. I was really looking forward to that. <clears throat> hmm. Too many flavors, Fenemans. You're doing too much. You do one, one flavor per day. bottle a day, Fentimans. Too darn much. It's by it's no like, means bad. I can't even really get the cherry flavor. I just taste like extra sweetness. Yeah. Maybe something mildly mm. fruity. It's a little fruity, but... <laughs> Jeff. Jeff. Just get... Damn. Under what circumstances would you drink these? If somebody said, would you like a Fentiman's Cola? I would say yes. Jeff, dream walk with me. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's paint a scenario. First of all, under no circumstances would I drink this. Really? I mean, Not if even I was for desperate. Free? Yeah. I would never choose this over anything. Else. I would choose this over like a Mountain Dew Baja Blast energy drink. Yeah. Um, I think if you're like, I think they could use this to make like a nice mocktail base. Yeah, we just talked about that. Yeah, that's the circumstance. Okay. I can see that. But what what other mocktail would you make out of that? What if you paid $3.29 for this one bottle? No, for the four pack. Oh, okay. That's what cool. if, hear me out. What if they made an artisanal Roy Rogers out of this? I know that your instinct is to say this. Jimmy, did we not just talk about putting grenadine in this? That would be an artisanal Roy Rogers. No, it wouldn't. Because grenadine is not artisanal. It's mass so, produced. So how would you make it artisanal? You muddle fresh cherries. Well, grenadine is French for pomegranate. It's pomegranate flavored. Then you put the cherry on top. So do you muddle a pomegranate? No. <laughs> you just get seed charts. <laughs> I want to take this, Jeff. Let's take it. I want to muddle some fresh maraschino cherries, right? Fresh And I want to put some turbinado sugar in there. Okay. Just to macerate. Macerate a little bit. I love to macerate. I do it whenever my wife goes out. <laughs> Every single time. <laughs> yeah. She You're goes like, to get the mail. I'm like, brown yeah! sugar and mint leaves. <laughs> and then just put some of that and a nice big rock of ice in there. And then people will think we're cool and we're drinking when we're really just having soda. <laughs> sure. I guess you go to a bartender and be like, get me your finest <laughs> botanically brewed cola and macerate these ingredients that you <laughs> And they'll be like, have. get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not putting that much work into a soda that I have to charge you only $4 for. Yeah. If there was a splash of Jack Daniels in it, I could charge you $12 for it. Correct. So, yeah, that's that's the Fentiman Colas that we tried. Will Jimmy or Keith like either of these? I think so, because they like alcohol, and this tastes better than alcohol <laughs> smells to me. Uh, Keith will not like either of them. Jimmy might like the cherry. Jimmy's a dirty little boy. He might like these dirty little colas. I'm going to sip this off camera. Jeff, one last thing before we go. We've often talked about sodas breaking down into two, care, into two categories. Yeah. Fruits and roots. Is this the rootiest of all roots? This is the rootiest. Rootiness, tootiness. This, this is, is rootier than root beer. This is. This is the most. Literally, you can just go out when it rains and put some runoff water yeah. and some sugar and some twigs and you have this, but like in a good way. This tastes like if you steeped water with potting soil. You guys ever mow your leaves? I mow my leaves. 
because it's like I'm lazy. But then I found out other people do it too because it like helps their lawns or whatever. Compost. Yeah. So like if you take those little bits of leaves that don't get sucked up by the lawnmower and you just make a tea out of it, <laughs> that's what this is. Um, and this is not the fruitiest. This is just depressing. Yeah. So that's that. Like and subscribe. We love you. Bye. He loves you. I don't love anything. I hate myself. <laughs> I'm excited for these. Sure, why not? Let's try them. Never had a, well, I guess I have had the one Fentiment drink that we had. Oh, God, that was almost a year ago. I don't know. I don't know. He's so curious. That is very curious. Yeah. This is a curious tasting cola if I've ever seen one or, yeah, or it's, tasted one. <laughs> it's like a combination of like Coke. Oh, it's a lot of sticks in there. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's very strange. I would drink this. If it was presented to me, I'd be like, yeah, sure. Why not? It's okay. No, you don't yeah, like it. I don't like this. Okay. No. <laughs> this is too. This is trying too much. Oh, wait till you try oh, cherry. Oh, interesting. I, th I think there's just like, there's these weird flavors in here and it's just, it's not, there's no place for this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, no, this is worse. <laughs> Don't yeah. Don't another flavor to the party. Yeah, it doesn't oh, need it. Do you have, seven? Wow. Yeah, that's so like, really reminds better. me of like clay or something. Here. Clay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a sandstone yeah. clay block. Yeah. Feels like I'm licking like cherry juice off of a clay block. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Where are we going next? I don't have